guys! So today we're talking about hashtag relationship goals. Now so many of you have posted your relationship goals on Twitter, on Instagram, on Snapchat, and feel free to send me your relationship goals on Instagram as well. But a lot of the times when I see these relationship goals, they're just a bunch of pictures. Some half-naked guy and girl kissing each other and being in a relationship. These aren't actual goals. You want to have real, tangible relationship goals that you can set and actually meet. So today's video teaches you how to create real relationship goals and actually achieve them. So the first tip is that you want to visualize your life and what it looks like with your relationships in one year, in three years, and in five years. We are going to get relationships down to a science. You can never predict when you're going to have a relationship, but I think it's a good idea to have a generalized idea of what you want in your mind so you can keep yourself open to opportunities that arise. Visualizing is the first step to effective goal setting, so understanding what it is that you actually want is an important step to creating goals that work for you. So maybe in five years you're still dating, maybe you're in a long-term relationship, or maybe you're married. It doesn't really matter what the actual visualization is, as long as it means something to you and you have a concrete understanding of what your goal is. Now let that visualization sink in and internalize it. Which leads us to tip number two, is choose three things that are the most important to you, write them down, and set those as goals. So maybe it's that you want to fall in love in the next year, that you want to have a date for your prom, that you want to have experienced your first kiss. Take the three things that you want and write them down on a piece of paper. You can put them on your desktop, you can put them on your bathroom mirror, somewhere that's visible to you where you're going to see those goals every day. Now writing down your goals is a very important part of this process because research tells us that we're a lot more likely to achieve something if we actually write it down. Now next is time to take action. So choose three things that you can do in the next year to actually get you closer to your goal. So whether that's making the extra effort to meet new people, maybe talking to the guy you like, getting some extra face time with him, or maybe even joining up with a new sport or hobby in the interest of making new friends and meeting new people, these are all things that you can do to get yourself closer to a relationship. Now in my experience as a relationship therapist, I've noticed that a lot of the time it simply has to do with putting yourself out there, making yourself open to love and actually making the effort towards your love life. Relationships can definitely add value to our lives, but they definitely don't define us. So if you're not in a relationship right now, don't sweat it. At the end of the day, it's important to have goals in all areas of your life and relationships shouldn't be the only thing you're setting goals towards. So now that we've set proper relationship goals, ladies, I want you to Instagram me your relationship goals for this year and I'm gonna be regramming my favorites all month. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more weekly teen videos on relationships. Bye guys.